COVID. Let's bring in Republican Senator John Kennedy for a moment uh, as we um, address this very big issue, because a number of Democrat senators and members of the House as well would really like to see Title 42 extended at this point. Um, Senator Kennedy, good to have you with us today. So um, Peter Ducey just a moment ago questioning Jen Psaki about that, whether or not the White House is going to continue Title 42 uh, in this country, she said there are people in favor, there are people opposed, and certainly we're considering it. What are your thoughts on this, sir? Well, I heard Ms. Saki say that the system is broken, and, and uh, uh, frankly, the Biden administration broke it. Look, this isn't complicated. America has a legal immigration system. We admit about a million people a year legally into our country, more than any other nation in the world. Everybody wants to come to America. Even 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 America is so great, even the wokers who hate our country don't want to leave it. But we also have millions of people to try to come who try to come into our country illegally. Federal law says we're supposed to turn them away. The Biden administration has not been doing that. The Biden administration has let between a million and two million people into our country illegally to stem the tide of illegal immigration. President Trump invoked a, a federal law called Title 42. It just says, if you're try to coming into our, you're going to try to come into our country from another country that has the coronavirus, we're turning you away. No questions asked, even if you're claiming refugee status. That has kept about two million folks out of our country illegally. President Biden has just announced that he's going to stop enforcing Title 42 on May 23rd. Now, what does that mean? That means that the number of people coming into our country illegally is going to double. He's going to, it's going to double by the stroke of a pen. Some, some people say, well, this is just another foolish idea by an administration that has become famous for foolish ideas. And I'm not sure I agree with that. Uh, sometimes when people act like they don't care, it's not an act, Martha. I think this is intentional. I think the Biden administration believes in open borders. I think they're, going, they're happy to have not just a million people coming in illegally every year. They're fine with two or three million because they think that our borders should be open because vetting people at the border, in their opinion, is racist. And uh, that's what I think is going on. Yeah. It, you know, it, it's such a strange irony of what's going on right now, right? Because you've got uh, a federal judge lifting the mask mandate on transportation. So you have people saying, hooray, they can take their masks off. A lot of people, some people uh, think they should, you know, keep them on for various reasons. Um, but then at the same time, you have this situation at the border and, and the White House is saying, well, this is health policy. It's not immigration policy. And yet they've got all these Democrats who are running for office who know that this is going to be politically difficult for them. So now for a political reason, there's a suggestion that they might decide to keep Title 42 in place, Senator. Yeah. You know, life is full of contradictions, but where I come from, we call that hypocrisy. On the one hand, President Biden is saying, well, it's OK, everything's safe now. Let's let everybody in illegally. But on the other hand, he's, he's saying, well, I might appeal the ruling that you don't have to wear a mask. Actually, what he said is he's going to appeal it uh, if Dr. Fauci says he should appeal it. But and, and Dr. Fauci hasn't weighed in yet on what he thinks. But frankly, um, everything about Dr. Fauci's credibility at this point screams expired. If I were the president, I'd just well, let people know, to do what, what they want to do. The president said yesterday that he thought that people should do what they feel is right or what they want to do, um, which I think is where yeah. a lot of people are in this country on this at this moment. So maybe he should, you know, maybe he'll consider sticking with, with that um, as a way to uh, approach this. And, you know, I, I just think that a lot of people are going to listen to what you said a moment ago and say, wow. So we look at the numbers of people coming across the southern border. And the truth is that if, if we didn't have Title 42, you'd have another 2 million who have crossed the border. So it seems it's pretty porous if we've let in record numbers of people this year while Title 42 has been in place. Quick thought, sir, and then I'm going to let you go. The Biden administration believes in open borders. I know the president said otherwise when he was running for office, 
but they've allowed a million people to come into our country illegally, and they're, they're, they've decided to get rid of a law that will allow another million to two million to come into our country illegally, no questions asked. They believe in an open southern border. We'll see what they decide on Title 42. Big political decision for them. Uh, and they're waiting for a health directive from the CDC as well to try to guide that. Senator John Kennedy, thank you. Always good to see you, sir.